that though Glenn Beck and though those who support him financially have put up the money, they have sponsored this program, we reject Glenn Beck, we reject his analysis of America, and we say Glenn Beck is not representative of this community or this great city and the gorgeous mosaic of people in this city. What, what do you think about that? One of the things that we saw in November of this year, one of the greatest displays of unity in this country, people of every race, every socioeconomic class, and from every state in the country celebrated the election of Barack Obama as President of the United States of America. Obama is the President of America. We understand that. We support our Commander-in-Chief. But that doesn't mean that the Commander-in-Chief can't be criticized. That doesn't mean that he cannot be evaluated and analyzed like every President that has ever occupied 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. We understand that. But we also understand that there is something very insidious going on. That when you turn on ABC radio right here in New York City, 770 AM, when you turn on some of the other right-wing stations in America, and particularly when you turn on the television to that uh, mother of all right-wing stations, Fox News, that there is an insidious plot to undermine not only the President of the United States, but to undermine America. I find it so interesting that people who have always used patriotism as a means of silencing legitimate criticism of foreign policy or domestic policy, I find it so unusual that people who have traditionally wrapped themselves in the flag and supported our nation, whether it was right or wrong, would now be betting putting all of their chips and betting for the failure of the United States of America. Glenn Beck is betting against the success of the United States of America. That's wrong and we need to call him on that. The other thing is this. The other thing is this. We've listened to the right wing for so long. They love to talk about, you know, it's not race, it's qualification. But it's interesting that Obama clearly qualified, clearly has the political sagacity to run one of the finest campaigns that we ever had in this nation. Oh, there's a lot of work that has to be done. After eight years of George Bush and the mess that he has left, I mean, give the man some time. But overnight, the night that he was elected, in fact, days before he was elected, Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, and many others voted on undermining and decided to wage a campaign against Obama that has not stopped. Now, if it's just politics, we can deal with that. But what I'm concerned about, and the reason why I'm here tonight to raise my voice against Glenn Beck, is that in 1963, if you remember, the climate in Dallas, Texas against President John F. Kennedy was so uh, incendiary, it was so hateful that in fact the Kennedy staff had doubts about him going into Dallas for that visit. In fact, the moment, moments before President Kennedy was assassinated, the governor of the state turned around in the front seat of the car and said to President Kennedy, look at how the people in Texas have received you. That was a direct reference to all of the incendiary and hateful comments being made on the radio, in churches, and in different forums in Dallas at that time. I'm concerned that Glenn Beck, Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, Mark Lemon, all of these others are trying to create a hateful climate in America, not just to defeat Obama at the polls, but to take his life or encourage some other sick person to do the job. And so we need to be vigilant. We need to understand that people don't say these things in political office anymore, but George Wallace has gone behind the microphone at many talk radio stations in this nation, and we have come too far to turn back now.
We've made too much progress in this country to allow people who exist in a bygone era to take us back. So we say forward ever, backwards never. We say good, open political discussion, political dialogue, take the president to task for whatever political issue you want to take him to task for. But to call him a racist and to every day try to whip up and uh, uh, sick people to do something to take his life, that's unacceptable. That's outside of the bounds of political discourse. And Glenn Beck needs to be censured and silenced and challenged on this hatred. And so I leave you today by saying, let us all remain vigilant. Let us all turn on 770 AM radio every day. Record what they're saying. Listen to Glenn Beck wherever he is on the airwaves. Record what he is saying. And let us all be vigilant and say that we will never again allow this country to be divided along the lines of race, class, or any other schism instead of bringing us together. And that's what we did in November, and that's what we should continue to do. Move forward ever, backwards never. Thank you so much. Keep the struggle going. Keep the fight going. Yeah!